A live presentation is a useful way of engaging your audience and making the presentation more accessible. Let's take a look at it in more detail. The live presentation feature is free and can only occur if the presenter is using PowerPoint in the web browser. You can access it from the slideshow tab and select the down arrow next to present live. From here, you can select if you want others in the organisation or anyone to be able to access the live presentation. Once ready to start the presentation, click on Present Live and the join screen will be displayed for the audience to see. At this point, your audience can use their device to join the presentation either by scanning the displayed QR code using the camera on the device to open the presentation in a web browser or to type in the link into our web browser. Whichever method the audience chooses, they will not need to download PowerPoint since it will run through the web browser. The display on the presenter's screen shows how many people have joined the presentation. To start the presentation, left click on the mouse button or use the right arrow key on the keyboard. If you right click, you will bring up the presenter's toolbar. From here, you can see how many people have joined. Copy the link to the live presentation and then email or post to a Microsoft Teams channel or meeting chat or you can show the welcome screen again, which is useful if someone has joined the meeting late and needs to see the QR code again. However, at the top of the screen, the web link to the presentation is always shown. One of the best features of live presentations is audience reactions. Here you can ask the audience orally questions and the audience can then use emojis to show their responses. This is a great tool to gauge the audience's responses in real time and is particularly useful in remote lessons or meetings where you are unable to see the body language of your audience. This therefore provides a great way to check on your audience and make sure your presentation is more interactive. The audience is able to choose real-time caption and subtitles to be present on their device as they follow the presentation. They can choose over 67 different languages. As the presenter, if you wanted automatic captions to be present on the screen, I need to make sure that the microphone is enabled. However, if I want to turn off the captions, I can click on the microphone icon to disable it. The audience is able to move back through the slides that have already been shown, but cannot go ahead of the presenter's current slide. This will help the audience members to track back and check information they may have missed from the previous slide. Unfortunately, presenting live will not allow the audience to pass beyond the presenter. Also, presenting live will not pass audio through the device. Instead, I would recommend sharing your window with your PowerPoint presentation open via Microsoft Teams meeting. This will allow you to use all of the live presentation functionality and allow audio to be shared through the meeting if enabled by the organizer or presenter. Also, the added benefit of doing a live presentation through a Microsoft Teams meeting 
is you can record the presentation and then this can be saved in Microsoft Stream for you to download or to share with others. To end your live presentation, click on the live icon and select end session. Ending the session will cause the QR code and join link to be destroyed. This will prevent others from joining the live presentation. If by accident the presenter presses the escape button or closes the web browser, the QR code and join link will automatically close after 30 minutes. When the session is ended, all attendees will receive a Microsoft Forms feedback sheet. They can then give feedback on the slide design, the skill of the presenter, the content covered, the interaction with the audience and any other comments. The presenter will be able to receive the overall feedback via an email after five minutes from ending the meeting. However, a more detailed breakdown is given if they go to Microsoft Forms on office.com. This will display each attendee's responses, although at the moment you will not be able to know who submitted which response. Click on one of the options here to continue to enhance your teaching and learning and subscribe to the Teach Me channel so you know when more useful videos are released.